Now we see this entire uh, term that will be converted in the form of the class form. How it can get converted into the class form now we are going to see. Let us see suppose the conversion of the class form that is given as P implies Q. This can be written as negation P or Q. Okay. So, this can be written as negation P or Q. So, how can we convert this entire form into this particular uh, uh, small or Han form? Okay. So, uh, we can convert it in the form of the Han form like for all x, Roman of x and no x comma Marcus r height of x comma caesar r for all by their existence height of y comma z here one more uh, uh, implication symbol is there so this this is the formula based on this we are converting the entire thing r negation of uh, x y comma z or think crazy of x comma y ok. So, we have converted in the second step this is the uh, first step this is one is the first step this one is the second step now we are going towards the third step. So, we have converted this in the form of P implies Q, it is there in the form of P implies Q and it is also in the form of P implies Q, we have converted this in the form of negation P or Q, P negation P or Q that is the negation of P or Q, ok. So, uh, how can we uh, choose this, how can we convert this now, ok. So, this negation can be applicable, so for all x negation of Roman of x and this negation is applicable to end it will convert it into the R and no of x comma Marcus R hate negation sorry this negation will come here and uh, negation of no comma x comma Marcus R negation of hate of x comma Caesar R for all y their existence z negation of height of y comma z R think crazy of x comma y. So like this we have converted the negation is applicable to the whole here ok. So we have applied in the third step the negation is applicable to whole step. And now what I am going to do is here we need to think one thing that is uh, the fourth step we need we have to drop some kind of the universal quantifiers ok. So the fourth step is saying uh, the first step is nothing but conversion of the P implies Q into the Han form like this. So we have converted the entire thing like this. Now in the conversion of the class form the next step is nothing but removal of quantifiers. How can we remove the quantifiers here there are for all x is there for all y is there there existence z is also there. How can we remove such kind of the quantifiers now we are going to see. Now I am writing the step number 4 here just see. That is removal of the quantifiers how this quantifiers can get removed. Okay, here uh, we can easily drop for all x, for all y. Universal quantifiers can easily drop, but their existence cannot uh, drop easily. For that, what we have to do is negation of their existence z is equal to for all z. We have to convert it in the form of this particular thing, negation of their existence z into the for all z. So that the total thing will be negated and uh, this will be become as the for all ok. So now I am writing based on this step number 4 that is for all x negation of 
Roman of x or negation of no x comma Marcus or negation of height of x comma Caesar or for all y negation of their existence z okay and negation of negation of height of this negation will be applicable to whole actually negation of uh, height of uh, y comma z or think crazy of x comma y okay now after application of this negation this entire thing will change now see how it look like see now we are writing the step number 5 here that is for all x negation of roman of x or negation of no x comma marcus or negation of height of x comma caesar or for all y for all z negation of negation is height of y comma z okay or negation of think crazy of x comma y okay so now we got all the universal quantifiers for all x for all y and as well as the for all z so we can put all these uni universal quantifiers at one place so that we can easily drop now i am writing the step number six that is nothing but uh, all the universal quantifiers are placed at once now i am writing step number 6 here that is for all x for all y and for all z negation of roman of x or negation of no of x comma marcus or negation of height of x comma caesar or height of y comma z or negation of think crazy of x comma y these two can be dropped okay now see here we can uh, this check here is there any things can be resolved finally okay so uh, in this entire term please check is there anything can be resolved easily okay so height and negation height are two things are there height of uh, x comma caesar and height of y comma z negation height of x comma caesar and height of x comma y here we can substitute the variables x by y and caesar by z then both terms can get resolved okay so negation of height of uh, uh, x by y and negation of height of caesar this can be entirely resolved this thing can be entirely resolved and the height can be resolved here two things can be done height resolved and the next one is drop out drop quantifiers so after application of these two things height got resolved and uh, for all x, for all y, for all z, universal quantifiers can get dropped. So, what is the resultant one we got? That is negation of Roman of x or negation no of x comma Marcus or negation of, sorry, this is not there, or negation of think crazy of x comma y. Now, see this is in the form of the disjunct to normal form that is this term is regarded as a or b or c it is in the form of a or b or c which is in the form of harnu form or class form or 
disjunctive normal form disjunctive normal form so this is the very good example of conversion of the normal form or conversion to the class form this example represents this example is to be done before going to the resolution okay so in the coming video we talk about some more things regarding the resolution how the resolution will get work and what are the things relevant to the resolution okay so if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel intelligible tutorials thank you one and all thank you so much